Hello, my name is James Hartley with Arkansas Northeastern College, and I would like to give you a brief tutorial of the new update to the ANC app. There are several changes and um, additions uh, that I'd like to address. Uh, first of all, uh, this came out in one of the previous updates, but I did want to point it out just in case uh, you aren't aware of it. If you click on the hamburger menu here, you'll see a contact ANC. If you select that, uh, you will be given the phone numbers for all of our campuses. And if you just select the number, it will ask if you want to call or cancel. Uh, this way you can always have quick access to just call any of the campuses. Let me go back to return home. Um, the first uh, thing of note on the main navigation that has been changed is the emergency services. It used to be at the bottom of the scroll uh, for the main navigation, and one of my colleagues, uh, Ron Hutto, uh, pointed out uh, that you know if somebody opens the app uh, to use the emergency service, uh, should something like that happen, rather than having to scroll all the way down, it would be nice if it was right there uh, in the center. And I thought, you know, I never really thought about that, uh, and I should have. <laughs> so I've moved it up too close to the top here. So as soon as you open the app, you have the emergency services uh, on that. Uh, line. If you were to click here, remember you just select the phone for any of these and it will dial it automatically. Uh, it won't ask you if you want to cancel or anything because we want it to go through quickly. But also there's been an addition at the bottom, uh, the avoid, deny, defend link. Um, basically this is one of the mantras that we're uh, using as a, a quick fact um, way to respond should active shooters or those types of situations take place on campus. And if you click this link, it will open up a mobile version uh, from the website of the people that actually came up with this uh, to give you uh, quick links and quick facts about what to do in response to those types of situations. So it's a nice little addition there. And going back to main navigation, you will also notice that we now have an ACE Center section. If you click on that, uh, you can schedule a test, go to the ACE website, apply to be uh, part of the Team Up program, uh, and then contact advisors. This current schedule is not available in this update. It will be available in the next update, uh, but basically, just so you know um, what that looks like, if you were to click on it, you can select this, and it's going to bring up what the tutoring schedule is. Next, we have moved the academic calendar from the bottom uh, right up here. Uh, basically, if you click on it now, you will have each semester broken down. If you select that semester, you'll have the academic calendar for that presented in the page for you. In addition, we've added an ANC events section, which is very similar, which will give you all of the uh, various events that are going on at ANC in any given month. And again, there's only uh, these two months left uh, for this year. But after December 31st, this will be populated with 2016 and all 12 months. Uh, and of course, if you click on it, it goes and gives you a calendar here of all the things going on. And that will be updated periodically as, as new updates come out. In addition, social media has been moved right here from the bottom to make way for a, a few new things. Also, if you go to the very bottom, we also have all the campus addresses and we also have a career resources link. Uh, these are jobs that are available in our community uh, to help graduates and current students look for employment. That's a new section as well. Now another thing I'd like to point out is that uh, with faculty there is a small change. When you select the faculty, you have their portrait the name where their office is. You can click and call them directly or email them, but first day uh, syllabi and office hours are no longer available. Uh, for syllabi, we actually have a section on the main page now. Uh, you can scroll through to it and hit departmental syllabi. It will bring you up uh, to this section that has all the departments. You select the department and you can go in and get the syllabi. Office hours, uh, you'll have to check with your instructor. Okay, also uh, something, a few new things for the student corner. Uh, we have our new bookstore link. This is our new bookstore. Uh, if you click it, uh, it's going to bring you to ANC's website through the bookstore, and you can actually uh, go on here and select your t textbooks and find out all the information about what's being offered as far as the tech book, textbook for your semester <coughs> and other information. In addition, we also have a fall exam schedule, or final exam schedule rather, and this will be updated each semester once the schedule comes out. And so right now, currently, it is the fall semester. 
one thing you will need to do is since these are linked to a direct uh, file is that uh, in the spring when the new one loads if you haven't restarted the program or anything like that make sure you always hit the refresh button here and it will make sure that the newest uh, version is uploaded in addition we have a resources section this is for you guys as well uh, to help you out with the writing of your papers and essays and things like that ref me uh, is a place that you can go and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory as far as self citations and things like that and then of course the Purdue writing lab is a writing lab to help you with various styles AP APA Turabian Chikarin, all that type of stuff now, we also have a new section here called photos this is uh, basically photos about life at ANC uh, classroom photos events uh, things like that. If you click on that, that'll always give you the newest uploaded versions of photos for you to scroll through. Pictures of individuals in the classroom, those types of things. And of course, you can select the actual picture and get more of a, a close-up view as well. Okay. In addition, there's a new alert section. Now, a lot of times you get notifications that tell you specific things that will pop up on your phone, and that will still happen. But sometimes you may get an alert that says, please check the alert section of the app for a new message, weather update, or announcement. If that takes place, um, once you open the app, just go to the alert section here on the bottom. And there's various pieces of information here. If there was a new message, you can click on messages, and whatever the message is from ANC that's important for you to know will be written here. Same thing with weather alerts. Should the college close or close early, those types of things. It'll say that in the notification as well, but there will be a little more information for you here under the weather alert section. Uh, app uh, update videos. This has the original video um, uh, talking about the app from its inception, uh, but there will also be a section here that will uh, load up all videos, including the one that you're currently watching that will show. I have a little bit of an internet connection there, but they'll show up there for you. If there's a new announcement, you click the new announcement button and that announcement will be um, ready for you. Now, this can be various announcements that are going on at the college and currently we're doing the uh, food pantry uh, winter repl replenishment drive and so that's what's showing. Uh, again, with announcements, if you see that there's a new announcement um, uh, on the notification and you come here and you still see this, make sure that you hit refresh. You need to hit refresh because that will load whatever the newest document is. So make sure that you do that. And those are basically uh, the new features. Uh, now, also I wanted to point out as well, under the ANC News with the news link and connections, you open those and you see, hey, you know, I, my picture's here. I'd like to share this with people. You know, you have the share button up here, and you can share it with whatever you have on your phone at the time. This is a simulator. So it doesn't have anything but Facebook or text or email, all those things. You can share this through that. And that's the same thing with connections as well and with our uh, community uh, education section. Also with photos and alerts and things like that when you open those up you can open it in the browser on your phone as well or you can also share a link to this um, to anyone that you'd like as well through text, email, or social media. Just some things for you to uh, think about. Okay, uh, I hope this explains some of the new features uh, in a good way. I hope you've enjoyed using the app. And if you have any suggestions, you see me on campus, uh, give me a holler and uh, let me know. You may have something that gets, uh, gets included. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good day.